Okay, this time it's time to do a translation of a shape. So this is another one of the transformations. Uh, I've made some other videos of rotations and reflections. This time it's time to do a translation. Some other words for a translation, sometimes you'll see this referred to as a slide or even a glide. Uh, some books use translation or to translate a shape means to slide it along the plane. And for this we're only going to use a ruler and um, at least in my opinion I think doing these slides or translations is actually easier than doing the reflections and the rotations with rulers and protractors. Uh, it, it is quite a bit easier. First up, whenever you're going to do these translations, uh, you need to know two things. You need to know, first of all, which direction are you going to move the shape or move the object. And that's given by the direction of the arrow here. And you also need to know how far are you going to move the object, and that's given by the length of the arrow. So a short arrow means the object will move a short distance, and the longer the arrow is, the greater the distance traveled. And obviously the direction the arrow shows which way it's going to go as well. So the first thing I want to do is I want to see how far am I going to move this triangle. So I'm going to measure the length of this arrow, and according to my... Uh, ruler here, it look, and I know you probably can't see these numbers, but it looks like it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It is 7 centimeters long is the length of this arrow. So I'm going to move this triangle 7 centimeters in this general direction. Now when I have uh, a triangle like this, really the way I'm going to do it though is I'm going to do it point by point. I'm going to move point A, point B, and point C. And I'm not going to be too worried about uh, getting the direction perfect. For my purposes here, um, I'm going to say it's good enough as long as you are approximately moving it in a line that is parallel to this line. We don't have to measure it or calculate it in some way to make sure it's exactly parallel, uh, but let's just try to eyeball it. So I'm going to start at point A, and I want to move this, want to move this point seven centimeters so it is exactly or as close to parallel to this line as possible so I'm going to put seven centimeters right on point A I'm going to line up the ruler with the arrow and that actually look, works out pretty well and so seven centimeters away from point A puts me right there so this point right here is going to be my new point A after doing this translation going in this direction seven centimeters so this is my new A or my A prime well now let's just do that with the other two vertices of this triangle and we are set so I'm going to put seven centimeters right on my point B I'm going to try to align the edge of my ruler up so that it is parallel to the uh, line here, the translation arrow. And it's probably not perfect, but it's pretty close. And there is seven centimeters away. So I'll put a mark right there. That is my new point B or my B prime. That little tick mark there means prime. And I only have one more to do. Again, I'm going to move point C. I'm going to move it in this same direction as this arrow here. And I'm going to move it the same length as that arrow, which I earlier measured was 7 centimeters. So I'm going to put 7 right there at point C. I'm going to try to make sure that my ruler is at least approximately parallel to that arrow right there. And again, it's not perfect, but it's going to be close enough for our purposes here at least close enough for my purposes in my classroom and I'm going to put a little mark there seven centimeters away from point C there is the new point C or C prime so that's the new C prime the only thing left to do is let's connect these points with lines so we'll connect them just like this and there is our new triangle so this triangle 
slid in that direction seven centimeters, it translated or it was a slide, and that's all there is to it. Just remember that two things you need to know. You need to know the direction given by which way the arrow is pointing, and you need to know the distance given by the length of the arrow. And once you have that, just move your shape point by point, redraw your new shape. And by the way, this uh, new object, we only slid it this way. We didn't rotate it, we didn't flip it over, we didn't change its size, it still has the exact same size, the exact same area, nothing changed except for its position. We just slid it that way. So, fairly easy, hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, and hopefully you will have success on any problem you have to do that involves translations or slides.